Before this video starts, I'd just like to make an announcement. I have the Liberal Tears mug uh, for $14.99 on my website. It is the first link in the description if you want to go pick one up. Um, don't worry if it breaks when it comes to your house. I'll send you another one for free out of my pocket. I don't care. I want you to get your Liberal Tear mug. Uh, it comes in uh, Liberal Tears white with the face, black with the face, white without the face, and black without the face. So pick whichever one you want, and it'll come to your door uh, in about three to five days. So that should be epic. First thing in the description, thank you. Let's go on with the video. High school degree was 40 years ago. That means to me that what we have to do is make a simple statement, and that is that we will make public colleges and universities tuition free. Now, how are you going to pay for that? During my campaign for the presidency, I proposed a tax on Wall Street speculation which would have more than covered the cost of making public colleges and universities. Wall Street speculation, and he's using old 1930s socialist language, Wall Street speculation, in other words, 401ks, set by, you know, people putting their money in SEP IRAs that, that invest in stocks and bonds. And this is just, it's, it's utter nonsense, it's utter nonsense. And, and when he says things like, you know, he's gonna make tuition free and, and college is what high school used to be, why do you think college is what high school used to be? Why do you think that is? It's because of a watered-down public education system and people insisting that everybody have a college degree in order to go to work in a particular industry, even if you're majoring in poli-sci, English, or lesbian dance theory. That's why you're seeing a watering down of college. The solution to that is to have employers start to recognize qualities in employees after high school and to make our high school curricula better and to make our high schools better, to make our general public schools better. Not to shove more people into an overburdened education, a, a higher education system where people learn stupid crap. You know, I, I, I understand that you're desperate to learn about art history, but there aren't a lot of art history jobs out there. It's not a major that tends to generate, a, like, name the art historians who are working art historians. Not people have an art history major who got a job in something else. The working art historians. What are they, like 10? Okay, but, he's, but he's saying everybody has to go to college, and who will pay for it? Of course the rich people. Of course the rich They will always pay the rich people because they are an endless grab bag of loot. Except for the fact that the reason that a lot of the rich people are rich is because they're the ones who are hiring a lot of the other people. The reason you hire people, it, it, it's, it's amazing how few people understand like really, truly basic economics. The reason you hire somebody is because they create surplus value for you. If they don't create surplus value for you, you don't hire them. If you can fix your toilet the best yourself in the quickest amount of time, then guess what? You're going to fix your own toilet. You hire a plumber because he frees you up to do other things, creating surplus value for you. Well, rich people who hire lots of people have more surplus value. That's why they're hiring people. They hire lots of people, and those people create, in aggregate, more surplus value. If you get rid of the surplus value, are they going to maintain the employment, or are they going to fire people, you stupid dumbass? So you have to gauge your own kids. And I think it's a different, listen, I went to UCLA, I went to Harvard Law. There are no two more liberal institutions, leftists. I don't like the word liberal, they're not liberals, they're leftists. There are no two more leftist individuals, institutions on the planet than UCLA and Harvard Law School. I came out a stronger conservative because I used everything that I was learning as a, as a, a starter. It wasn't the end point, right? It was, okay, you want me to read John Rawls? Okay, well now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna read Frederick Hayek, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna read various perspectives on the same issue so that I know how to counter the argument. So I can argue leftist positions better than most leftists can. Right? So, the, the, so if, you, if you have somebody who's a solid conservative, what I say to parents is about college, if your kid is not a solid conservative, if your kid doesn't have solid values by the time they're 18, be a, they'll be a leftist by the time they're 21. That's the way that this works. Ever, all your heavy lifting is done before the college years. So you sort of have to, I, I mean, honestly, I think that if your kid isn't solidly in, in, ensconced in values before they hit puberty, you're in trouble. <laughs> Uh, so it's, so this, is, this is a long, pro as someone with a, with a two-year-old daughter and a son on the way, I mean, this is something I'm going to have to work on. It's, it's something that, you know, I think that you have to gauge. The so what I say to college students who are really politically motivated is go to leftist campuses. Go to leftist campuses, learn how to hone your arguments, become a weapon. And what, that, and what I also tell them is if you're going to be on a leftist campus, don't be stupid. If the professor is going to grade you down for being conservative in class, write like a communist. I mean, this is actually what I did when I was at UCLA. I'd argue with the professor in class, and then we had things called blue books, and blue books were great because they were anonymous. They just used your student ID number. And so if you read my actual essays from college, they read like something directly out of the nation. And if, and if you, you know, and obviously that's not what I think, but that's how you get 
to graduate summa cum laude at UCLA, go to Harvard Law School, and then use all their degrees against them. So, <laughs> I have so much hatred for Donald Trump. So much hatred for Donald Trump. You don't want to kill him, man. Fuck Donald Trump. I don't want to kill him, but I mean, I'll catch his face. I mean, gotta knock a nigga out real quick. <laughs> Sorry. Deport Trump! Deport Trump! Deport Trump! Deport Trump! Deport Trump!
Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, they just said they were going to be arrested. Got people being triggered. So there's a mass of people up at the front. Walk forward! There he goes. Looks like they're coming walk forward, forward now. Let's right walk forward! Push! Push! So they're at the front right now. You can see them. around there. Nobody's gotten into the hotel yet. The police are, people are listening to the police at this point, half of them. Looks like they are storming the gates at this point. Oh. Oh. Hey, um, I'm with the media. I don't want to get a pass. Um, not a pass to get inside, but you got to stay here. Okay. Somebody pushes me into you, just don't knock me in the face. <laughs> so the cops have pushed them back now from the front entrance. They pushed some people down. They're using their uh, they're throwing eggs now. I've seen a few eggs being thrown. People are going through the hedgerows right now. They're pulling back. All right, they're throwing eggs and they're pushing the protesters back at this time now. You can see they're pushing them back in, back into the street. This guy right here looks like it's oh, 
they held their line and then pushed them back. No justice, peace. No justice, peace. No justice, peace. No justice, peace. See, the crowd's gotten larger now. More people have gathered here when they saw the the skirmish going on. People now have been pushed back beyond the hedgerows. What? Uh, yeah. Infowars, yeah, get it. Get, What's up? Get out of my face, bro. Why are you talking to me? What's up? Are you Infowars? Are, are you Alex Jones? I'm not Alex Jones. Okay, then I'm not talking to you. Okay. <laughs> All right, they're moving off to some other location. I'm going to stop this video. We'll start it again and see what happens. But right now, protesters in the back are throwing stuff over. And this is about the time Trump was supposed to be speaking inside. All right, we're going to cut this video real quick. And to make our high school curricula better, and to make our high schools better, to make our general public schools better, not to shove more people into an overburdened education, a, a higher education system where people learn stupid crap. You know, I, I, I understand that you're desperate to learn about art history, but there aren't a lot of art history jobs out there. It's not a major that tends to generate, a, like, name the art historians who are working art historians. Not people have come to your door. Uh, in about three to five days, so that should be epic. First thing in the description, thank you. Let's go on the video. High school degree was 40 years ago. That means to me that what we have to do is make a simple statement, and that is that we will make public colleges and universities tuition free. Now, how are you going to pay for that? During my campaign for the presidency, I proposed a tax on Wall Street speculation which would have more than covered the cost of making public colleges and universities. Wall Street speculation, and he's using old 1930s socialist language, Wall Street speculation, in other words, 401ks, SEP, you know, people putting their money in SEP IRAs that, that invest in stocks and bonds. And this is just, it's, it's utter nonsense, it's utter nonsense. And, and when he says things like, you know, he's gonna make tuition free and-, and Before this video starts, I'd just like to make an announcement. I have the Liberal Tears mug. Uh, for 1499 on my website it is the first link in the description if you want to go pick one up um, don't worry if it breaks when it comes to your house i'll send you another one for free out of my pocket i don't care i want you to get your liberal tear mug uh it comes in uh liberal tears white with the face black with the face white without the face and black without the face so pick whichever one you want and, uh, and college is what high school used to be why do you think college is what high school used to be why do you think that is? It's because of a watered-down public education system and people insisting that everybody have a college degree in order to go to work in a particular industry, even if you're majoring in poli-sci, English, or lesbian dance theory. That's why you're seeing a watering down of college. The solution to that is to have employers start to recognize qualities in employees after high school.